Get rid of those leftover tensions. It's time for another two-minute tech tip. Hi, I'm Mark Williams, and I am a Method R uh, advocate for Centra Software and Services. A tech tip that's uh, probably uh, something of a golden nugget these days, but uh, it's use bind variables when you should. And that is probably pretty much all of the time. If you're not familiar with what bind variables are, they're simply placeholders that are used in your SQL statements to, well, act as placeholders, in fact, for literal values. So for example, uh, when you're not using bind variables, you might have a SQL statement that says something along the lines of insert into T values 1, 2, 3, where the literals in that statement are 1, 2, and 3. Now, in order to replace that with bind variables, all you would do is take those literals of 1, 2, 3 out and replace them with the bind variable uh, or parameter, as they may be called in some languages, identifier. This is the colon. So for example, instead of the literals 1, 2, 3, I could replace them with bind variables colon 0, comma, colon 1, comma, colon 2. Now, they don't have to be numerics. You could also call them colon p underscore 1, p underscore 2, p underscore 3, etc. The point is that you want to replace the literals with placeholder values. Now, why do you want to do this? Well, the Oracle database, whether it be hosted on the Oracle Cloud or Oracle Cloud at Customer, whether you're running PDBs in a container database, or if you're running on standard, it is really predicated on being able to reuse SQL statements. There's an area of memory called the uh, shared pool, and there's a, a serialization structure called the library cache. When you're using literals, you are really hitting these two things hard, and that is a problem. That leads to serialization, and serialization leads to slowness. Was that a good tip? This is like a dream I've had. We want your opinion. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned.